Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and we are here to do another painting today. Um, today's painting will be a dip, well several dips. Um, we're going to be using 6x6 six six canvases. I've got four of them ready, so hopefully, oh, sorry. <laughs> so hopefully um, we can get a good little set of um, paintings here. Um, I'm going to put gloves on just yet. I'm going to go ahead and start pouring. The colors we're using today are this color. I think it's bronze. Bronze. I'll probably say copper a few times. I'm pretty sure it's bronze, not copper. Here, I'll show you. Whatever this one is. Bronze or copper. Pretty sure it's bronze though. Um, black, white, dark purple, light purple, really cool navy blue, regular blue, light blue, green, and neon green. I just threw that one in there to get it a little bit lightened up here. So I'll go ahead and get started. There's no rhyme or reason to how I'm going to do this. Unless there might be. Maybe I'll just try a circular pattern. Typically I just kind of zigzag back and forth. But maybe I'll try this and see what happens. So I'll go ahead and get started with this. This will probably take a few minutes since I've got so many colors to go through. because I put so much paint down in so many colors. I really like those last ones we did that had all the um, uh, shift color shift paint by Fall Apart in it. I really like the way those turned out. All right, I'm not nervous anymore. <laughs> that is beautiful. It's dripping. Oh, probably because I have it I'm not holding it level. Um, our drying station today will not be level because the current level drying station is occupied. So these will likely move throughout the drying process. Um, let me try to bring you in here. We're close up. I know you're swaying and I apologize. But yeah, we've even got some really cool tiny cells in this one. I will torch it before I let it dry. And I am going to turn it the way that I think it runs off, the way that this, I think this table is unlevel, just so if we do lose something, I don't want to lose the parts I like. <laughs> so I'll show you that or you'll get to see it whenever we do our close-up. So we're going to go ahead and go again. I feel like the first dip is always my favorite, so hopefully today will uh, prove me wrong that I can like the second, third, and fourth dip. Here we go. Here we go. We're not covered this time. Okay, now I've got it covered. Still really pretty though. We've still got some little tiny crazy cells. From me having to try to move it around, we got a really cool little swirl there. Um, it looks yellow on the camera. It looks yellow in real life too, even though there's no yellow. It's the neon green. <laughs> I'm making a mess. But, uh, I'm going to try it over here this time, see what happens. surprised it's picking up so much paint actually. I was thinking when I started this I was like oh it can go on the unlevel drying surface because it's a dip. It doesn't pick up that much paint. <laughs> I appear to have been wrong in that line of thinking. <laughs> uh, but yeah really pretty. Cells are popping up like crazy. All right we've got one more to do here and then We'll do our close-up, and our first one we did, and the second one we did, 
purple and blue cells are coming up like crazy, actually. So yeah. They look a little bit different than what you first saw. I guess maybe it's just wrinkles and whenever I stretch them out, the wrinkles like valleys and mountains or something just kind of move everywhere. Uh, we're just going to go, well, I don't know where I want to go. Okay, now I'm going to go in the middle since I know there's paint there. <laughs> A lot of that light purple came through this time. I'm happy. All right. Now we will do our close up. Um, these are all sideways from the way you saw them. So this one went like this way when we lifted it off. But for the purpose of the close up, we're gonna do it this way. Um, but yeah, all the, the crazy blue, I think that's the neat, the navy blue that I've mixed. Um, tons of like pockets of those cells. And then the purple, which is the purple I also mix. Um, and it tends to sell up pretty much, pretty well too. So still really pretty, crazy cells. This is the second one. I think it went this way originally. But again, we're going to do it like this. Um, really, really pretty. Some like lighter color cells throughout there. Mix it from the different colors. Mix in with the white. Again, that navy blue. Our cool little swirly. And then really pretty purple cells with them. Looks like some light purple kind of outlining them. Then our next one, it went this way. Whenever we um, dipped it, and this one, the green went crazy on it. A little bit of purple, a little bit of that blue, some bronze and uh, black action there. Some more purple. Really cool little swipe effects from the way it lifts off the paper. And then this one has no cells yet. <laughs> um, I think it went this way whenever we... Um, did the, lifted it from the dip. Uh, a little bit of blue cells there. A lot of this really pretty um, light purple in the middle. It's a little bit lighter on the camera than it is in real life, but same idea. A little bit of blue cells. Some more of that copper. I know that copper, hmm, I've said copper this whole video, haven't I? It's bronze. <laughs> I know it looks orange. I don't really know why it looks so orange on the camera, but bronze. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but we will zoom out for our final shot here. Um, don't worry about the edges. I'll catch those. Um, I'll probably just paint over them whenever I'm ready to, to finish the painting. Um, but yeah. Uh, final shot here. I do want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and do what makes you happy.